Hello drone lovers, welcome to my channel, KM here. Um, today I'm going to say something about this quad. You know anybody can build a quad, but not everybody can build a resilient quad. And why is this drone such a good quad and why is it so resilient? Let's start by watching a video showing one pack flight. I crashed this quad, which you will see the video, video later on, 
and the only thing that was bent was the props this point and at this point okay why is this frame such a good frame so the most important thing for before you start building a quad is to choose the right frame so why is this why is it so advantageous to get this frame the reason is because this is a single piece base plate as you can see it's only one piece there's no links or anything so it saves weight and there's no weak point due to additional screw holes on the arms okay and the arms are thick distributing the load during the crash the camera protection is made with metal metal the fpv camera fits all the way in without the cage in view adjust by three screws here to adjust the angle and three screws here to move the camera in and out and these three screws at the side here is to adjust the action camera the it has also no props in view as you can see the whole metal cage comes out so there is basically no props in view at all and it has a white prop clearance you can see compared there's this clearance from the battery so if you have an accident or a crash when your battery is slightly tilted the props will not cut the battery unlike this drone here you can see that there is totally very little clearance for the propellers so if i have a crash and if the batteries were to be shifted then if you try to fly home you might cut your battery so that is what you don't want when you want to build a resilient quad also it has low profile to keep the quad responsive during a roll as compared to the apex build you can see the whole quad is actually taller and thicker as compared to this one which is much shorter right because it has it is a very low profile frame so when you do a roll it responds much faster you know as compared to the heavier weighted height when you do a roll it takes a while to stop okay so these are the advantages of the frame now let's look at the second video which shows how I actually crashed and how I recovered from the crash by doing a turtle mode flip and then flying back. So in order to make your quad resilient and to be able to fly back, I have 12 uh, assembly considerations to build a quad. If you look at this VTX antenna here, I keep it as low as possible so it's not jutting out. 
So when you're doing freestyle or anything, if you happen to crash the back or upside down, it will not damage your VTX so that you can fly back, still able to transmit the video back. And also, mount the receiver antenna as far as possible from the carbon frame. See? Use reliable receiver like Express RS and update it to the latest version. Okay, and also mount the receiver antenna on the arms to get it at a 45 degree angle so that you minimize the null points. Okay, and also use Velcro to mount the batteries onto the base plate. Hey, look, Velcro, 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 Velcro. Four sides. Keep the battery in place by using two battery straps. Don't use one, or use, always use two. Cable tie the battery leads onto the battery strap to keep the leads as far as possible from the props. So your battery lead is protected from dropping into the props. Choose props with hubs that fit the motor shelf such that the motor nuts can be screwed all the way in. Choose props that are not too soft, that will break rather than bend. Recommended is Ethics S4 Lemon Line. Mount GPS for return to home, auto land with Betaflight 4.4 for the flight controller firmware. Mount a beeper with a small lipo that will keep sounding even when the lipo battery gets unplugged or runs out of juice. Use a silicon motor mount vibration dampener for a cleaner build which also is you doing the PIT toolbox uh, tuning. So that's it for the 12 assembly considerations. Okay, I will leave you with the last flight. This last flight is after the crash. I just bend the props back and then continue to fly. And do remember to subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up. See you. Bye-bye.